Hi everybody, my name is Alan. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. You know, we're, you're really in for a treat and we're really in for a treat tonight because tonight's show is the sixth annual International Healing Arts Show. And we're gonna be showing you and reading and just having you feel the incredible energy of these just fantastic healing artists and, and art from all over the world, from all ages, all different formats and, and uh, sizes and, and ages of the people involved. And if you're not really familiar with bridging and you haven't seen the art project shows before or when we've described the art project on the individual bridging shows where we have you know a guest on there, the art project came as a vision, it came as a dream, as a healing, as an acupuncture for the planet, that we would reach out to the world and say, anybody who wants to produce a new original piece based on the theme Bridging Heaven and Earth, get it to us, and we'll use our bridging show and the distribution system through all the cable stations and uh, through Sky Channel in Europe, through satellite TV all over Europe, and through the internet, YouTube, and, and uh, Vimeo, where actually at this point most people watch the bridging shows. And we will put this new original art, this new healing art, on every show, and every season we'll have a, a, a healing art show like this one. And we've done five previously that are available. All of them are available to watch on our website, uh, heaventoearthart.com. And as of this point, as of right at this moment, we've received over 350 pieces from all over the world of all different formats, all different sizes, from the ages of literally 2 to 92. And the energy around it, the energy of the healing, the energy of the healing of the heart is so powerful and so beautiful. And the energy of the, the art project is as a healing, as energetically putting out the energy of the infinite, of inclusion, of unconditional love, of oneness. And that's what each one of these pieces, individually and collectively, is, is energizing, is vibrating, is, is putting out into the universe that form of love. And we're just so unbelievably excited to be part of this project and really Whoever's watching this, whenever you're watching this, for the next 55 minutes or so, you're really in for a treat because these pieces are so powerful and so beautiful and so lovely. And each one was produced with the intent of healing, of, of being part of a grand transition into love, an experience of oneness, an experience of inclusion, an experience of the infinite for all of us. So we're going to show a beautiful video that one of the amazing artists did, and we're going to show three of her pieces as the first set you'll see today. And uh, it's a real opportunity. And let me say this, and I've said it on many of the, many of the shows, anybody who wants to participate, whether you're a world-renowned artist or somebody who's picking up Sharpie markers and a sketch pad for the first time, everyone is welcome. It is completely inclusive because we want the feeling of inclusion and the infinite to be the core, the root, the heart of this project. Everyone is welcome, and the more people involved, the better the healing, the better the acupuncture, the better the spreading of that love. So we encourage everybody. And in light of that, go to the website, heaven to earth art, heaven to earth, a -R -T dot com. Go page after page after page of these incredible, moving, lovely, powerful art, healing art manifestations and see if you're not inspired and see if you're not enlivened to, to join us in that collaboration, to join us in that creativity. It's a real opportunity for us all and it's really an incredible, lovely and loving and, and potentially really life-changing part of that healing and part of that transition into love that's happening on this planet. So the first video is, as I said, was done by one of our beautiful artists, Gail Packard. 
Uh, it's a mystical soul journey uh, for her painting, My Blue Heaven, which you'll see in a little while. Uh, the music is by uh, Midnight's Storyteller, uh, it's called Desert Moon Dance. So we'll see that in a little while. But first, join me in a short meditation so we can get the vibration and the feeling for the show set down. And then we'll have this first beautiful video from uh, Gail. <clears throat> Thank you. So, okay, so it's Gail Packard, beautiful video, and, and right after that we'll see the piece that she actually created, this extraordinarily beautiful triangular piece. So, Gail Packard, enjoy. Hi everybody, welcome back. So thank you, Gail. Uh, Gail is an extraordinary visionary artist, and she's a, uh, a healer and a psychic, and the three pieces of extraordinary art you're seeing uh, on the set next to me were all done by Gail. They're uh, oil on canvas, uh, they're 30 inch uh, equilateral triangles. Uh, Gail is from Willow Creek, California, USA and her website is gailpackard.com, that's G-A-I-L-P-A-C-K-A-R-D.com. And the first piece I'll, I'll read you what Gail says about this extraordinary process of her painting and healing and, and making this piece. As I put my brush to my canvas filled with creative juices and oil, I awaited for the painting to enter my perception as I raised my energy in love light and blue sparkling waves of joy. I allowed the vision to manifest and to embrace my soul as I journeyed to beyond the veil 
and entered this magical dimension of pure joy and love-filled air that sparkles in the glow of love light and dreams that have come true. Here all is a wondrous experience in happiness and the delight of being conscious. This painting is filled with Reiki healing energy to balance body, mind, and spirit. So that's my blue heaven right here. And this uh, next piece we're going to read to you about uh, what uh, Gail said is Gateway to Heaven. As I begin the journey into this creation, my brush filled with endless possibilities, I began in white with a touch of emerald green and a hint of blue aquamarine. I created the emerald city in the heavens that seemed to glow as it softly manifested off my brush and onto the canvas. I worked my way to the city entrance to the sacred dimension where a goddess watches over the dolphin swimming freely in the healing waters and the air is filled with the smell of lilacs and jasmine. The wall on the right of the entrance is marked with the iconic symbols of the location in an astrological sense and delineation of energy present in this dimensional place of being. This painting is filled with healing Reiki love. And the third piece over to my far left is cross, crossing over. This is what Gail says about this piece. As I put my brush to canvas on this painting, I was taken to a place of crossing with many paths to the same destination. You can go up the stairway, under the bridge, on the water, or on the energy waves of light. They all lead you on an upward path towards the heavenly scene in the foreground. A feeling of magical places comes to my mind and wondrous heavenly cities glowing in a soft, peaceful embrace between heaven and earth, joy and delight, and dusted with the sparkling presence of the source of love. So Gail, Gail Packard, gailpackard.com. And the next healing art pieces we'll see is by Alma Yamazaki and Sean Edwards. So the pieces you're seeing next to me now are by uh, the one to my left here, this incredible angel with the earth, Alma Yamazaki, Bridging Heaven and Earth. It's mixed media, acrylics, glitter, sand, crystals, gold, metallics. It's uh, 24 by 36 on stretch canvas. Uh, Alma's from Oxnard, California, and her website is angelwing4.com, angelwing4.com. And this is what Alma says about Bridging Heaven and Earth, the piece she's just created here. It took me a good month to complete my painting for Bridging Heaven and Earth. I truly enjoyed painting this Angel on Earth painting. I personally have experienced angels here on Earth. This is my personal journey and a passion to spread love and joy to others through my art. The bridging heaven and earth is exactly the term for angels residing here with and within us. I have kept a journal of my experiences with angels here on earth and it fills my heart with gratitude, appreciation, and love for all humanity. It is our oneness to all that is that can manifest our truth and uniqueness to the expression of our inner selves is in truth here on our heavenly earth. We are one continues to transform this planet which is always in a state of transformation and to choose consciously to spread love and light to this planet earth and to bridge heaven and earth as one. The essence of love is to be free of any limitations that we unconsciously create out of fear and doubt. Transformation is choosing to be free of any limiting beliefs that hold us back from experiencing truth, joy, and love. Our angels help us in the process of becoming enlightened by our own divine experiences. Every time I see a butterfly, I am reminded of my own transformation in every situation. Even in the events that may not appear as divine ones, they always are. I am reminded that as a butterfly, I am constantly transforming my soul, my life as I choose to. And this, and this gives me hope and peace of mind, knowing that I can choose to experience something different, which can be joy, love, peace, abundance, success, and or health. This is my manifestation of bridging heaven and earth. 
And the piece you see uh, to my far left is by Sean Edwards, uh, Crossing into Happiness. It's a graphite realism, 34 by 38 and a half. He's from Trucas, uh, T-R-U-C-H-A-S, New Mexico, in the United States. And this is what Sean says about Crossing into Happiness. The eye of the storm in the depths of the black abyss, grasping blackness, self-destruction, helplessness, sorrow, endlessness. Fire cools, water settles to its own level, taking action for self-healing. Balance follows, self-love, self-deservement, self-empowerment, life, freedom, harmony, ecstasy. I had a choice. Instead of succumbing to the negative forces, I focused on the positive ones. I was able to begin this process through drawing this piece. Crossing into happiness represents my journey into wholeness, into myself, into freedom from illusion and suffering. This piece truly encapsulates, encapsulates bridging heaven and earth because without the help that came to me, my receptivity, my open heart, my surrender, I would not be able to stand in the light that I am. Drawing this piece gave me the courage, the awakening that I could have happiness, that I had talent and could express myself in a way that the world could understand. I choose this piece for I chose this piece for bridging heaven and earth because it, because it is a movement from the depths of hell into the heights of heaven. I wish to inspire people so they can so that they can cross that bridge and accomplish their dreams. So that's Sean Edwards. So the next pieces you'll see are the, both the front and back cover of the International Healing Art Project. And now you're seeing these extraordinary front and back cover of the uh, International Healing Art Book. This was a really interesting story. The, uh, we got a call literally out of nowhere from this beautiful being, Alan Bourgeois, from Creative House Press, and he said he came across the International Healing Art site, which is, you know, I've mentioned heaventoearthart.com, and he said, is there any place where these unbelievably powerful and, and healing art is in a book? And we said no, and he said, well, I'm a publisher. And to make a long story short, he produced this, this beautiful, beautiful book, and this front and back cover of the book, which is available on Amazon from Creative House Press and ordered from any bookstore and on the, you can get it on the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod. Now the cover design was done by uh, uh, the bridging technical uh, and design whiz George Graves. Uh, he has done such extraordinary stuff for us over the years and gotten us uh, six gigabyte files down to 100 megabytes to be on YouTube. We were the, one of the first groups to ever have our shows on YouTube when they had the 100 megabyte uh, limitation. And uh, he just is a great design person. He's the person who designed the, the Heaven to Earth Art website, uh, Heaven to Earth Art, the uh, healing art website. So if you go there, you'll see the unbelievable talent he has in putting this together and how beautifully designed it is and how functional it is and how you know it really represents the artist in a beautiful way and actually George is one of the editors on Bridging and he'll probably be editing a show because you know he just loves being able to feature the art and show the art and you know take these beautiful images and of all these pieces we're showing and really present them in a beautiful beautiful featured way and for the mosaic on the front, uh, George used uh, Andrea Mosaic software. And, um, you know, we really recommend that anybody who wants to, you know, at least go to Amazon and look, start looking through the pages and get a feel for this book because it is very beautiful, it's very powerful, it's very inspiring. I think it had about 135 of the first artists who manifested a piece for bridging. And, you know, their art is shown in a beautiful way and their websites are linked and all that. So, uh, you know, we really recommend you, you take a, a look at this book. And we want to thank Alan and George and all the people involved with making this book such a beautiful thing. And the next healing art piece you'll see is by Peter Osea. And this extraordinary healing art piece is by Peter Osea. Peter's from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, this is an oil on canvas. It's 58 by 38. Uh, it's called Sedona Energy Pyramids. 
And uh, uh, Peter's website is www.oosia.webs.com. That's oosia.webs.com. And Peter uh, is, uh, has a beloved, a, a wife, a, a significant other named Una Mason, who they collaborate on these pieces in, you know, in different ways. And she wrote this beautiful poetry uh, uh, regarding this energy pyramid. So this is Energy Pyramids by Una Mason, and the artwork is by Peter Osea. Within this perception of vibrant energies, within this dimension, of seeming permanence. We remember the bridges that helped us here, but leave them in their beauty to guide others on their way out of this realm of materiality. Beyond is where illumination waits to embrace us with peace, fulfilling our quest for trans transcendence. So that's fulfilling our quest for transcendence. So again, you know, just so much love and so much consciousness and so much caring goes into each one of these pieces that really, I mean, really, if you want to be inspired or uplifted, go to Heaven to Earth Art and just scroll down these 350 pieces that are so powerful and so inspiring. Really, it's just when they come into the to bridging studios here and, and I see the image first because a lot of times they'll send them in and then I see the pictures come in. Really, it can bring tears to your eyes because there's so much consciousness and so much love and so much energy that goes into all these pieces. And literally, I mean, you've seen maybe a half a dozen so far today and you've seen different sizes and different and we'll be seeing, you know, later on we'll be seeing jewelry and we'll be seeing... Uh, little sculptures and we'll seeing wall art and we'll be seeing uh, acrylics and canvases and collages and and everybody who wants to be part of this healing everybody who wants to join us please do it is a real opportunity for us to come together in love and creativity and and put forth that energy of of the infinite of inclusion of creativity of collaboration of unconditional love so the next uh, healing art pieces you'll be seeing will be by Sheila Karpelman. And now you're seeing the really beautiful pieces, these healing art pieces of Sheila Karpelman. And uh, the name of these four together are, If thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And this is in four parts called Power, light, vitality, and manifestation. They're all oil pastel on paper. They're 11 by 14. Uh, Sheila is from Melfa, Virginia in the United States. And her website is uh, the IPAC, the-ipac.org, T-H-E-I-P-A-C.org. And this is what Sheila has to say about if thy nine be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Dear Alan, I am sorry that I will not be able to do an interview with you in person about my art pieces. I would enjoy sharing energy and ideas with you. Maybe another time when things get on a more even keel with the barn here in Virginia. Art is a very personal experience for everyone, so I guess I will give you a monologue about if, thy eye be sing if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light, and you will somehow turn it into a meaningful dialogue. I have so wanted to share my art experience with others, but sadly for years my work has been stored away like so much of the world's art. The Bridging Heaven and Earth Healing Art Project is not only a conduit for bringing the gift of man's free spirit from heaven to earth and vice versa. It also serves as a bridge for all to share that which does not make intellectual headlines like a Picasso or a Monet. I'm sure that wor the world still goes on to some degree of it for investors of sort, although I see that bell epoch fading into the vast continuum of the past. Now the World Wide Web and Internet are empowering a vast freedom of expression. Your project contributing to that wave and so man's purpose is further served to share the gift of artistic expression and creativity. 
Years ago, when I put th those lines and colors on paper, there was an ele element of a mystical experience that occurred. As all four drawings were done in quick succession, one after the other within a 90-minute time span, more along the lines of automatic writing as my hand at the time did not have as much experience. It was very early in the morning, sometime around 2 a.m., and I remember thinking how special these works were as I saw a message come through the pictures that was not of my own nature or thoughts at the time. These figures seemed to come out of the pictures as religious figures like Joseph and Mary, Gabriel, and a dark figure that I imagined was the imperfect expression of God coming into matter to communicate with man in matter. When you asked me to send some of my art with a bridging heaven and earth theme, I went to look in my portfolio, which has been stored away in a closet for more than 20 years. I had not seen nor thought about those drawings for all that time, but when I looked at them, time and space compressed, and it was as though I had created those pieces for your art project to share the concept that the drawings convey. At that time, I was nearing the end of a long, long reading of Alice Bailey's book, A Treatise on White Magic. I had taken a year to read and reread this text, something that I have never done before, as I try not to get too intellectual about spiritual experiences. Buddhism has a tendency to count and categorize things, and I think one can get lost in the details. Nonetheless, the titles for the drawings came from that present moment as the worlds I was reading so clearly brought a cohesive meaning to my drawings, past and present, heaven and earth, all merging into a sublime moment of understanding the infinite light that we all have in common. So the first one up here is power, Gabriel, the timeless messenger of new beginnings, brings the power of the Lord Adonai to mankind. Light, this one here, the exchange of words from God are seen in the night's heavens as a magnificent star shining upon the world of man who in comparison is obscured by that shining light, but the will of man is nourished by the light, the anointed one, Christ. And then the third one is vitality. After the long night of deep latency comes the dawn, the new age, and by the single-mindedness of purpose and enduring vitality. And then the fourth one, manifestation. In the clear light of day, the sustained vibration of this union between man, matter, and women's, woman's spirit brings the wonder and the magic of divine manifestation and man's soul back to heaven. Love, Sheila Kay. So amazing. And the next healing art pieces are by Anya Carlisle, Anne Essence, uh, Susanna Solomon, and Alicia DeHaley. So the, you'll be seeing now this beautiful, beautiful ceramic art piece by uh, the mother of one of uh, Bridging's uh, beautiful family and crew members. Uh, his name is uh, Brenton, and, and his mom's name is Alicia DeHaley. Uh, this uh, TP. A ceramic piece is called Inner Peace. Uh, Alicia's from Napa, California, USA. And here's what she says about when she, she produced this piece, she manifested this piece. Building this teepee allowed me to really experience, experience heaven on earth. From the base to the outside drawings, while building Inner Peace, I was able to take refuge in it with body and mind and felt as free as the air. That brought great happiness, joy, and harmony to my life. So beautiful. So again, you know, all different styles, all different formats. Everyone is welcome, from the most professional artist to uh, the most amateur. Just no division. Everybody is welcome. Everyone who's involved, the healing is more potent and more improved. So the first piece of extraordinary jewelry you're seeing is by Anya Carlisle. It's called Passion. It's raw red ruby, white topaz, and sterling silver. Uh, Anya's from Sausalito, California in the USA. Her website is Sacred Power Jewelry, as you would think, sacredpowerjewelry.com. And here's what Anya uh, says about Passion. Gemstones are a natural bridge between heaven and earth. Birthed and cultivated in the womb of our Mother Earth, they act as transmitters and receptors of universal energy. 
They are powerful tools of transformation. Natural Raw Red Ruby unlocks your creative potential and births it forward passionately in whatever medium is assigned for you. White topaz trans transmits the pure energy of the angelic realm, clearing your mind, your energy field, and supporting you to have more focus, peace, and harmony. Passion is a powerful manifestation piece, harnessing the creative potential of the red ruby with the aligned clarity of focus of the white topaz to birth forward into your reality that which you desire. So, Anya, passion, just beautiful. And the second beautiful uh, necklace you see is from Anne Essence. Uh, it's called Bloodstone of Freedom and Courage. Uh, it's bloodstone set in cradle of copper. Uh, Anne is from Santa Fe, New Mexico in the United States. And this is what Anne says about bloodstone of freedom and courage. Dedicated to all who labor and love in the name of freedom, that divine spirit may bathe our planet with its wonderful life eternally. Bloodstone of freedom and courage sits in its cradle of copper, drawing love from the ethers. Anyone who purchases Bloodstone of Freedom and Courage will also receive U.S. a writing of inspiration. And the beautiful hanging sculpture you're seeing is by Susanna Solomon, who also did a beautiful uh, healing art uh, painting later on. It's called Celestial Portal. It's selenite crystal embellished with cultured pearls and glass bugle beads in use of pastel gold and, and pink. The total length of sculpture is 18 inches. The crystal dimensions are two inches across. And Susanna is from Ashland, Oregon, USA. And here's what Susanna says about Celestial Portal. My art is demonstrating the divine existence. Uh, and you'll see later a beautiful, the Blue Angel painting that she does later. So the next art pieces you'll see are by Eliza McCracken and Amita Wells and Emma Watton. And this incredible explosion of, of red and blue and love uh, is by a, you know, an old favorite of, of Bridging's, Eliza McCracken. Uh, this is called Dancing Dove Number no. 2. Eliza's done two other extraordinary pieces for the International Healing Art Project. And she's just an amazing being. This is an acrylic on gallery wrapped canvas. Uh, it's 24 by 24. Eliza's from Bakersfield, California. Her website is elizamccracken.com. And if you want to be blown away, go to the uh, Heaven to Earth Art website, heaventoearthart.com, and go to the artist page. Look at the three pieces that Eliza McCracken's done. So beautiful. And this is what she says about producing this incredible piece, Dancing Dove Number 2. Warmest greetings, we are delighted to share this new creation. A graceful dove carries an olive branch to the world in this vibrant contemporary artwork. As living symbols of peace and unity, they inspire joyful, hopeful moments. And Dancing Dove One greeting cards are also available at Eliza's website, which is elizamccracken.com again. Every painting book a card uh, helps awaken our community to love. Thank you so much for your gracious support. We appreciate you. Thank you again for your heartfelt support. Art truly connects us all. We love you. And I just also wanted to show some of the incredible books. We've shown them before, but this is The Dance of Love, Eliza's book. This is Pure Grace. Just so powerful, so beautiful, so lovely. Creative Abundance, and the Spirit of Joy. How about that, the Spirit of Joy? So beautiful. So Eliza McCracken, really be inspired. It's so beautiful, her, her art. And the next piece of art you're seeing, again, different than Eliza's, different than all the others, but so powerful and so beautiful. Uh, it's by Amita Wells and Emma Watton. It's called Grace. It's a mixed media, nature and poetry. The paper upon which the poetry is written is made from mango pulp and is completely uh, tree free. And Amita is from Flagstaff, Arizona. And this is what Amita says about her piece, Grace. 
This piece was inspired by Grace. The other artist, Emma Watton, came to my house as a stranger passing through for two nights and ended up staying for a month. Bridging countries, cultures, ideas, hearts, and minds, we shared in gratitude and joy. I helped her bridge the worlds of the known and the unknown so she could expand her own horizons and self-impose limitations. In return, she supported me in my endeavors with genuineness and integrity. A carefully tended friendship now blossoming into a vast array of color and depth. We collected the flowers together, dried them together, and birthed our bridging project together. We felt to share a, a co-creation while also creating our own individual pieces to share. Emma headed home to England and wrote her beautiful poem, clearly expressing her inner journey. I wrote my poem prior to the bridging project as part of my vision for global change. I designed the layout of our piece, sharing the final product with Emma via Skype. A mutual sharing of love and blessings, we bring this piece to the Bridging Heaven and Earth International Healing Art Project, together with all the others out there also sharing their visions and hearts. We kept our design simple as part of our vision is to uncomplicate that which speaks so beautifully just as it is. When we become still and move ourselves gently out of the way, we realize how magnificently and perfectly the river does flow. Thank you, Alan, for bringing so many of us together through such a delicious medium. And the next healing art piece we're gonna see are three extraordinary pieces by Laura Weinberg. So these three beautiful pieces you're seeing are by Laura Weinberg. Uh, Laura is a healer, she's an artist, she's just an incredible being. Uh, she's from Fairfield, Iowa. Her website is laurawineberg.com, just the way you would think. And these are the three, what she says about these three beautiful pieces called Radiance, Bursting Love, and Shimmering Angel. So this would be Radiance, Bursting Love, and Shimmering Angel. When I first heard about the Healing Art Project, I knew immediately that I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to collaborate and create art with the intention of bringing in more light and healing the planet. At first, I wasn't sure what to do, so I offered it and allowed spirit to bring forth whatever was meant to be. I waited, and then not one, but three subtle images began to form. That was my starting point. From there, I let the energy flow through my form, starting with the basic premise and just moving with what was coming through at the moment, playing with the colors and shapes and ideas. This healing manifestation called Radiance is on prime canvas with unprimed canvas fabric glued on it for the first level. Then acrylic paint was added along with glitter fabric paint. The energy moves outward from the center point. The second healing manifestation, Bursting Love, is acrylic with ink applied on the prime canvas when wet. The energy just bursts from the center, bursting and bursting and bursting forth again and again. The third healing art manifestation is called Shimmering Angel. The first layer on the prime canvas was pink acrylic paint. After that tried, white tissue paper was added to form the angel's wings. Then acrylic paint was applied with a spiky sponge to get the patterned effect along with acrylic brush strokes. Afterwards, while still wet, clear shimmering glitter was applied. I think it speaks for itself, the shimmering angel. I hope that these works serve as a source of inspiration and joy for others and that the energy from the divine used to create these truly helps heal the planet. Blessings and love, Laura. So again, lauraweinberg.com. Uh, she's amazing. Her website's amazing. Her art's amazing. She's a healer. She's just a really beautiful being. So the next pieces we're gonna see are three beautiful, beautiful pieces powerful healing pieces from Ernestine Encinitas, Richard Matson, and Marie Aldrich. So now we're looking at, at, again, three amazing, amazing pieces. The two you're seeing on top are companion pieces uh, done by bridging family members and crew members, uh, Tina or Ernestine uh, Encinius, 
and the one on the right is by Richard Madsen. Uh, the one on the left by Tina is called Healing the Heart, and the one on the right uh, by Richard is Healing the Cold Heart. Both of them are paper collages under glass and framed. They're 16 by 20. Uh, Tina and Richard are both from Santa Barbara, California. So this is what they said in, in doing this extraordinary companion pieces of you know, amazing healing collages. Richard and I wanted to create a new piece for the Healing Art Project. While building a family memorial co collage for one of our clients, I came across materials, hearts, colors, images that inspired me to start a new bridging collage. While I was building that collage and creating a pile of rejected images from my piece, Richard became inspired to build a piece from the material that I discerned was not for me for my piece. It was fun to build together, but separate. I like them both and feel that they were both inspired by the Bridging Healing Art Project energy and love of creating something new. We always appreciate and acknowledge the gifted artists who create these inspiring images we use in, in our collages. So Tina and Richard, just amazing pieces. And this beautiful piece you're seeing was by Marie Aldrich, Love is the Bridge. It's an abstract acrylic on canvas with rose quartz hematite and copper foil. It's 18 by 24. Marie is from Branchburg, New Jersey in the United States. And it's, uh, her website is mariaaldrich-art.com. mariaaldrich-art.com. So let me sell, tell you what Marie says about her piece, Love is the Bridge. This painting has a lot of symbolism embedded within it. First of all, I was inspired to use both the colors of heaven and earth for the background. That is why the painting contains use of both blue and earth and copper colors blended together. Next, the sacred geometry shapes of the circle, square, and triangle can be found in this painting. The circle, which represents the physical plane, is in the center of the painting, illustrated as a peace sign. The squares, which represent the soul, are found in the pieces of hematite placed around the circle, and the rose quartz placed in the very center of the heart is a triangle shape, which represents the spirit. The heart in the center symbolizes love, which I feel is the universal bridge between heaven and earth. To enhance this love energy, I place pink rose quartz crystals around the edge and in the center of the heart. The outside circle contains hematite, which has a natural grounding energy, so it went perfectly in the circle or shape of the physical plane or earth. There are pieces of copper foil also worked into the painting. These show up as beautiful rainbow-colored flakes. Copper takes its name from the island of Cyprus, the birthplace of Venus, the Roman goddess of love and creativity. Copper eases any overactive situation and so is a natural energy to add to the piece. The aqua-colored serpentine crystals were placed on the circle because serpentine is cleansing, balancing, and detoxifying. It serves as an earthing stone, a mysterious th stone thought to enhance the emotions of love and assist in meditation. This painting containing rose quartz, hematite, and copper vibrates at the energy of heaven and earth. I feel it is a very special piece of art, and I hope viewers are moved by it. Well, we certainly were here. So the next healing art pieces we're going to see are two pieces by Javier Marin Gomez. And now we're looking at two Really, I mean, what you're looking at them so you see how amazing they are. And these are both pieces by Javier Marin Gomez, who actually has done two other amazing healing art pieces for the Healing Art Project. Uh, this one on my left is acrylic on nylon. It's Alchemist, uh, and uh, Javier is from San Jose, Costa Rica. And he has a beautiful website, javiermarin.com artelista.com, but you can Google them or go to the bridging site and there are links to his page. Okay, so this is what Javier says about Alchemeth. 
Alchemeth is inspired by the third brightest star in the night sky, also known as Ar Arturus, 16 Botis, Abotis, Abramek, or Alramath, and is one of the 15 Bahinian fixed stars. The artwork is made on a reused material and by a mixed technique using acrylics, pencils, crayon, charcoal, hologram, and the use of iris iridescent colors. I chose this way because I pretend to represent the way of the light from the alchemist star to enlighten us, as it can be seen by the naked eye on earth at night. So the artwork is about the light coming from the alchemist star, starring its own symbol. And the second smaller piece you're seeing to my left is uh, Metatron Speeches. Again, by Javier, it's an acrylic on nylon, 13 and a half by 16. Uh, and this is what Javier says about Metatron speeches. This piece is inspired by the figure of the Metatron cube, which is, as Wikipedia says, a figure that re resumes all the five platonic solids and is known as a gift of the angel to humanity. It is a two-dimensional geometric figure created from 13 equal circles with lines from the center of each circle extending out to the centers of the other 12 circles. Six circles are placed in a hexagonal pattern around the central circle with six more extending out along the same radial lines. Metatron's cube shares a 2D resonance with the flower of life. It is a sacred geometry figure. Its name makes reference to Metatron, a figure mentioned only in an apoc apocryphal script text, including the Book of Enoch or Sefer, Hekhalat, and the Zohar. These texts rank Metatron second only to Yesh Yeshua or Jesus in the hierarchy of spiritual beings. The derivation of Metatron's cube from the tree of life, which the Talmud clearly states was excluded from human experience during the exile from Eden, has led some scholars, including Johann Andreas Ozenmenger, to portray Metatron as the means by which humanity was given knowledge of Yeshua or Jesus, presumably implying that the study of Metatron's cube would be necessary to understand the tree of life. It is also well known that Metatron's cube is a reflection of the angel's soul, and in this particular interpretation of the cube, I imagine the cubes moving over the angel's head and sometimes over his chest as it shines meanwhile he speeches. That's why the name of the artwork, Metatron Speeches, and then I chose one flash of light and captured it to be painted. So Javier, amazing, beautiful. And the next two healing art pieces are from Susanna Solomon and Chris Jones. And these two amazing pieces you're seeing next to me now, the one closest to me is Susanna Solomon's Amazing Blue Angels, an acrylic on canvas, 18 by 24. Susanna's from Ashland, Oregon, and we saw her beautiful hanging sculpture uh, previously. So she's extraordinarily talented and an amazing many, many ways. So this is what Susanna uh, says about the Blue Angel. In matters of bridging heaven and earth, when there is an important truth to be paid attention to, the divine shows itself in 3D, in earthly reality, in a flash of sparkling electric blue light. The blue angel is representative of the divine expression being made visible for our earthly experience. I use the dots to demonstrate molecular energy. My art is demonstrating the divine existence, the bridge between heaven and earth. So, the bridge between heaven and earth. Now, there's an interesting quote. Okay, this other piece that you know, clearly is powerful, clearly, and its name is Multidimensional Light. It's by Chris Jones. It's digital art. Uh, uh, Chris is from Hampshire, United Kingdom. This is called Multidimensional Light, and here's what uh, Chris says about it. Frequencies create the world we perceive around us, and visually that is best represented with the color of light. All frequencies of light combine as one at their highest level as white light. 
The colors are simply the amazing range of aspects of the ones studied individually or in endless combinations. We can choose where to place our awareness and encompass as much or as little of the whole as we wish. Does your vantage point determine how you see yourself? Or does the way you see yourself determine the vantage point you choose? So again, I mean, look at these. I mean, different, powerful, inspiring, all new original pieces based on the theme Bridging Heaven and Earth. And again, let me personally, and, and as a representative of Bridging Heaven and Earth and the, the foundation and the art project and the healing art project, join us. Everyone who's watching this show can be a part of the healing, can be a part of the love, can be a part of building the new paradigms, of raising the energies of, of the infinite, of inclusiveness, of unconditional love, of oneness. So join us for that. It'll, it'll be an extraordinary experience for you. And the, the next series of, of paintings we're going to see, the uh, beautiful pieces are uh, Louise uh, Lamarande and Arlene Boyce. And these two explosions that you can, <laughs> of uh, incredible love and incredible power and incredible color are by Lu Louise Lamarande and Arlene Boyce. The one closest to me is by Louise. It's called Energetic Connection. It's felt pen and digital work printed on photographic paper. Uh, it's uh, 15 and a quarter by 19 and a quarter framed and 10 and a quarter and 14 and a quarter unframed. And Louise is from Laval, Quebec, Canada. And this is what Louise talks about when she talks about her making this incredible energetic connection. This art piece has been especially created for the Bridging Heaven and Earth International Healing Art Project. As all of my recent work, this piece was channeled from my higher soul. I found that when I channel a drawing, the result is not only nice for the eyes, but also vibrates and influences the energetic body positively. For this artwork, I began with a simple drawing done with a felt pen on paper and added colors and textures digitally. By simply looking at it, your aura increases in size, gets stronger and more vibrant. It also increases your link between the spiritual world and your physical body, also known as the spiritual cord. Dive into the spirals and colors and let the energy go in and nourish all your being. So there it is, that's amazing. And the last piece we're showing tonight and, you know, you've seen a lot, a lot of love manifested, really. You've seen a lot of love manifested. This is called Sending Joy. It's mixed media. It's 11 by 14. It's by Arlene Boyce. She's from Asheville, North Carolina. Her website is Arlene Boyce Art. That's A R L I N E B O Y C E A R T dot com. And uh, Arlene talks about doing this piece and what she does with it is include something from Rumi, let the beauty you love to be what you do. There are a thousand ways to kneel and kiss the ground. And Arlene has done two other amazing pieces for the International Healing Art Project. So again, go to the website, uh, heaventoearthart.com, H-E-A-V-N-T-O-E-A-R-T-H, -E art.com and go to the artist page and look at Arlene and look at Louise and look at all these artists you've seen tonight and look at one artist after another. We showed approximately 30 pieces of art tonight and literally there are th over 350 pieces from all over the globe from literally, as I said at the opening, from, from two years old to 92 year, two years old. Any, every skill level is involved, every size, every format. And again, for having in your life to be part of this project could only be something that could be beautiful, to be in collaboration, to be in creativity with all these extraordinary artists is a gift. I mean, this came as a dream. It came as a vision to us here at Bridging. And when we reach this out to the world, I mean, the response, as you can see from all these pieces, has been unbelievable. And it's such an honor for us to be able to do this show. These are hard shows to do for the crew because we have to, you know, set up the art 15 times and, and 
re-light it a little and re-jigger it and to make sure it's right and to make sure it you know all looks right on camera and everything in the background looks right but it's it's done out of love it's done out of beauty to to be part of this healing to be part of this sharing to be part of this creativity so remember if you want any information it's alan 805-687-2053 805-687-2053 and to say that we would honor your presence is, is unmistakable. So please join us. Good night. We love you. God bless you. Thank you. Good night.